Welcome to another video. In this video, I will be supported by Diego. We will show you how to use an image as input and generate a solution. We will show you the build steps as well as some practical guidance. In another video, I already demoed how it works. And in this video, we will discuss how it is built. To start off with the high level design, a user can start chatting with our chatbot. This is using the virtual agent in ServiceNow. During the chat, it will generate an incident. And in the incident, that is where we connect the AI capability. How we do that is by creating a flow. And in that flow, what we are doing is we're looking up the image that will be attached to the incident via the chat. So the end user will upload a picture of a broken laptop screen, for example, and we will retrieve that image in the flow. Then the next step is to connect it with OpenAI, send that picture to OpenAI to let it analyze that. And finally, we ask OpenAI to give us an answer and we need to handle that answer. How we do that, Diego will show us. To start, I just want to create the first step. So we can go for the alias. On the table for connection and credential alias, we have different options here. I can go to the OpenAI. For the connection and credential alias record, we have set up an ID. This is an HTTP connection and the credential is there. So you have the connection URL, API openai.com and we you will use this on an action. You can go to create the flow actually. I will create new one, create new flow. As capability, the now assist offers me to create automatic flow. I will go for the manual here. I will create this an OCR in AI flow built from scratch. For this example, our flow will trigger it when a new incident is created. In this case, I just pick the table for the incidents. Here we have the recommendation. So GenAI is working internally, the now assist. So having this record, we can go for flow designer, create a new action. And in the new action, we can set a rest step. On the rest step, we can use this connection and it's required as an input. Just could go for an authorization token and we can use here the content. So the body, we can set specifically an input for this. Zooming in a bit more in the JSON that we sent to OpenAI, we can see that we specify the model that we want to use. In this case, we want to use machine vision. So we use GPT-4 vision, the preview version. We also want to send more characters as a request than the default for this model allows. We can specify that by specifying the max tokens. In our case, we selected 3000. Then we want to send it the prompt of type text, more on that later. And we want to send an image URL. Zooming in on the text, I've highlighted the first sentence where we use a bit of prompt engineering. We specify, hey, OpenAI, the large language model, please give us a response where you reply as an experienced IT support agent. This prompt engineering will improve the prompt result. We also specify that we want a response in the form of a JSON object. This is so we can later on handle the answer more easily. And Diego will show us exactly how he is doing that. The JSON object will look something like this. So from OpenAI, we always get something structured like this, containing several keys like issue, solution one, solution two. And that's what we specified in the prompt. So we know exactly what the structure is of the JSON object that we, in a later step, will going to handle. On the script step, we need to part the text of the response from OpenAI and create an object and a string. So the action we'll use this content for the flow. Another option is to generate an image. So the connection will be the same, but instead of the path of using the content creator, we have here the chat completions, we will connect to the image generations. So this is the other resource path. For this, we can use a DAL E. The prompt should be handled here. And the script step will handle it with the response body. Here we have the screen step and the response will be a string, actually an image decoded as a string. So this action to generate the text and this other action to generate images will be used on the flow. Diego and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know down in the comments what you thought of his guest appearance. And if you want to reach out to him or want to know more, 
I will share his LinkedIn details in the comments. Hope to see you for the next video.